When people struggle with fractions, it's normally because they're not that confident with numbers in the first place. Then teachers start introducing names like denominator and numerator. It seems impossible to get to grips with this. So let's make those terms a little easier to understand. The denominator is the number under the line in a fraction. Like other times when the term denomination is used, uh, be it for types of Christians being Catholic, Protestant or Orthodox, or in currency in notes of fives, tens or twenties, denomination just means the type or the size of the fraction. So if we think about a pizza and it's sliced into halves, quarters or eighths, the size of those fractions or the size of those slices is the denominator. Numerator, by default, must be the number on top of the line. As the name implies, numerator is how many or the number of the particular fraction that are present. So again, with our pizza, can be cut into eight slices. We take three of those slices, three is the numerator, where the number of slices we get of the pizza is the numerator. The other part of the fraction which is most commonly overlooked when explaining them is the line in the middle. Now if you look at a fraction from a distance or if the numbers are slightly blurred, it looks like a division sign. That's the key to understanding how fractions work. A half is written as 1 over 2, which is the same as 1 divided by 2. Again, going back to the pizza, if we divided it in 2, take one place, we now have half a pizza. We divide the pizza into 4 equal pieces, and we take a piece, we now have a quarter of the original pizza. Now we have simplification of fractions. Generally, you don't see fractions as one very large number written over another large number. This is down to simplification. Generally, to make fractions easier to understand and deal with is simplified. This is achieved by dividing the top and bottom numbers by a common factor until the numbers can't be reduced anymore. Then the fraction has been simplified. For example, you can have a fraction 4 over 16. Now 4 can be divided by 2 and 4 and not leave any remainder. 16 can be divided by 2, 4, 8 and 16. Since 4 is the highest number that both parts of the fraction can be divided by, that's the one to use when we simplify it. So instead of having 4 over 16, we have 1 over 4, or a quarter. The final thing that tends to get most people into trouble, and most errors with fractions, are addition and multiplication of fractions. When adding fractions, you only need to add the top numbers, not the bottom numbers. However, you can only do this when the bottom numbers of the fractions are the same. For example, let's say three people are eating pizza again. One has half the pizza, one has a quarter of the pizza, one has an eighth of the pizza. How many slices of an eight slice pizza have been eaten? To do this, we need to convert the fractions. So a half is four eighths, a quarter is two eighths, so we have 4 plus 2 plus 1, so 7 eighths of the pizza, or 7 out of the 8 slices, have been eaten, leaving 1 slice left, or 1 eighth. Multiplication is a little different. First thing to realise is that when you multiply two fractions, which are both smaller than 1, you will end up with a fraction that is smaller than both the original fractions. This can be seen that, say, 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, half times a half is a quarter. So if you end up with a larger fraction, you need to recheck to see what's gone on. In multiplication, you only multiply all of the top numbers and then all of the bottom numbers to get a single fraction, which you then may need to simplify afterwards. Example, 3 eighths multiplied by 3 quarters. So the top numbers, 3 times 3, which is 9. Bottom numbers, 8 times 4, which is 32. So we have 9 over 32, which unfortunately in this example can't be simplified. So that's an introduction into fractions. Hope you found it useful.